Well, 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 man, it's been raining cats and dogs, and I think before even I continue even further, I think last week was one of the best trading weeks I have ever had, or we have ever had in a, in quite a long while. Okay, so last week it was full of CPI, PPI, and everything dropped, and everything. If you watch the last video that I did about the economic calendar. Everything that we talked about last time came to fruition and as, as you can see, I don't know whether you can understand this, uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, uh, it's, been, it's been doing good, it's been doing good, okay? So even if you check all these, uh, these are futures, the S&P futures you can see up 4.5%, uh, the Russell 2000, 23%, uh, TSX future 8.7%, uh, the Dow future is dropped by only 7%. But as you can see, it's been a trend of positive movements. So allow me to explain to you what is happening this week or what we expect to happen. So as everything, as we talked about everything last week, inflation is down. And now let's follow it up with the economic calendar for this week. So tomorrow we have the Bank of England uh, governor speaking. So you, can, you also know now, uh, tomorrow we might experience... Uh, sorry. Tomorrow we might uh, we might see uh, the either the pound, okay, we might see either the pound go up or coming or come down depending on the speech he's going to give, depending on the monetary policy they are going to enforce. So that is why it is important for you. When you get time, please listen to this. Then on Tuesday, Jerome Powell will take the stand again for FOMC. I'm not sure whether it is him who will speak or the other chairman, but. Uh, there will be FOMC for uh, Tuesday. As you can see, as you saw last week, uh, inflation really, really came down. Uh, job, jobless rates went up, which, which is what the Fed wants to see. So we will see whether they will continue to enforce this, uh, their, their policies, or something has to change. But check out for FOMC on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we still have FOMC and another jobless claim uh, report. Okay? So... As I said, if you see these numbers keep on uh, rising, okay, if you see the amount of joblessness uh, continue rising, then, okay, then and only then will we uh, continue with the bias of a weak dollar. I don't know the dollar is actually the double L, but at least our bias will continue. Because you've seen uh, last week, you saw the dollar drop like crazy and... It really opened up some good trading opportunities okay then on thursday we have gb uh, we have uh, the pound manufacturing and services pmi now this one will definitely give us an insight on the economic status of the pound okay this one will de definitely give us an economic status and based on what uh, the bank of england governor will say okay please know there is the difference between bank of england and the european central bank those are two different entities uh, with two different governors or presidents. I believe her name is Miss Lagarde for ECB. Okay, so PMI, this is another economic growth indicator. This one. So be on the lookout for this. So we'll hear whether the policy is set, okay, or whatever policy they decide to set on Monday will definitely affect the pound come Thursday. Are you together up to that point? Then, last but not least, we have USA services PMI on Friday. Uh, and then we have the German GDP. I told you Germany is the largest uh, economy in the European area, so this should count for something in the European stock market, okay? In the EU50. Okay, the EU50, definitely there are some moves to be uh, captured inside here. And on the same day, it's going to be Thanksgiving in the US. So apart from that, I don't think I have anything more to say or anything more to add uh, than just to say, you know, uh, that is how the week is turning out to be. So apart from the rain, I don't know if you can hear uh, raining uh, from the, in the background, but this is what your economic calendar has. So uh, that's about it for this week. See you in the markets and keep on trading. Bye.